books of clay, we win our way. Onward now for St. Augustine's victory for the white and blue. Now this song was written by the late Madame Matthias Murphy, an Irish priest who was our big teacher, was very intelligent, but he has passed away now. He always liked saying this, and I quote, he said, fools rush in where Indians fear to tread. He said, in life, we don't be in a rush. He said, you the one people you say, danka, danka, dapa, gol. Mm -hmm. Softly, softly, catch a monkey. But he liked quoting this. He said, no need to rush. Do things at your own pace and do it well. Rather to do, rather, rather to do things slowly and accurately than to rush and make blunders. It was his philosophy. But unfortunately, he died. But he said, um, he lived a ripe old age in the Gambia, and he wrote in his, some, some of his memoirs that when he died, he was to be buried in the Gambia. But when he was old, he felt sick. Um, I worked under people like the late Mr. Wallace Grant, who was then Solicitor General, and later became, Solicitor, and later became a High Court judge. And I worked under several ministers of justice. Um, the Chief Justice at the moment, Hassan Jalo, was the Attorney General for 10 years, from 1984 to 1994. It was during this tenure that I left to go to Boston University in Oxford to study law. And I was influenced by, you know, by lawyers of my, who are my, my mentors, like my late uncle from, from Sierra Leone called Justice Boy Foster. Now that guy was also was working in Sierra Leone, also coming to the Gambia to appeal to hear active cases. It was, it was a family uncle and a good friend of ours. And besides, I have been in the church where people like the late Mr. Sidney Riley was in our church. And they too also equipped us to study law. And then we fell in life. Mm -hmm. Do you have any regrets getting into the law field? No, no regrets. That is the fitting man of the law from commission. But I started as a state council, and then I moved to be a senior state council, and I moved to be the curator of interstate states. And from there, I moved to be the, um, the register of companies, then deputy solicitor general and register general, and then solicitor general and legal secretary. Mm -hmm. Yes. So tell us, uh, what is your most memorable day when it comes to your career? Yes, my most memorable day was when I traveled to Libya, I forgot the years, a long time now, to defend the Gambia government. It was a human rights case. And I remember some years ago, there was a guest house there called Malawi Guest House. Mm -hmm. Now, that man was a white man from Malawi. He came with two boys. They called them the Panda Brothers, mm -hmm. the elder brother and the younger brother. It was called Isaac. So now, Isaac was allegedly abused by this young boy. He went to um, Anna Foster's boss at the time. Mm -hmm. It was a Zambian woman called Zoe Tembo. She had passed away. So she went to report that this man abused him on Gambian territory. So we are going to take him to the African Commission. The African Commission have got a right to hear 